Hope you are doing well. This is Marvin Preaching Sense. Back at you all with another video. I'm gonna go over some fragrances that are <clears throat> some good uh, clone fragrances that I argue are close to, if not better, than the original one that they're cloning. So we're gonna jump right to it. This one's really an honorable mention, though I believe it's probably top three on my list. This is Star Mu uh, Star Nubla. Um, <clears throat> and this right here, the only reason I said it's um, honorable mention here, it's one of the best smells uh, probably on this list here, one of them, is because I haven't actually smelled, I haven't smelled the one that's cloning, which is pure malt mugler. But from my research and everything that I've been told, and that one is hard to find, it's discontinued. <laughs> So what I've been told, it smells exactly like it, but I don't really care if it if it's not spot on. It is smells amazing. That's all that matters. You can get this thing for like 25 bucks. So it's super affordable, which all these will be because they're clone fragrances. It opens up with the fruits, fruit accord, fruity accords. It has a nice orange and bergamot, some fruity nuances to it in that opening. But you're gonna get this uh, nice whiskey accord in here. Um, and it kind of has this, you know, maybe a some maybe a coffee note in there. But the, I guess one of the main things is what it's going after is that malt. And that malt is kind of a nuttiness to it. Um, so you're gonna get some accords that remind you of kind of toffee, maybe a little smoky nuances to it. Um, you're gonna get that malt accord gives it a nice um, roasted chocolate is what I kind of uh, imagine here but man this is good you pull this out in the winter and the fall but man good fragrance honorable mention but I really do enjoy that one um, next one on the list here is one that um, yeah this one right here is another good one it's uh I think you could pronounce it frenetic uh, delicios and this one as you can you can't tell by the bottle it's cloning Feb um, Dior's um, Feb delicios and man this is actually a shout out to my brother one of his favorite fragrances he's the one who put me on to um, the one by Dior uh, it was a Christmas gift actually and this right here is it's clone and man spot on spot on Man, if you like vanilla, it's all about that vanilla, those warm, it has these, these, has all, but it's not just the vanilla, it has like some caramel and some, um, some praline, um, maybe some, all the benzoins and just all the warm creaminess from the sandalwood, the Tonka, oh my goodness, the Tonka is one of the good star players, and, and then it mixes, it. those are the main things, but it does have some hints of some freshness from maybe some mint or some lavender um, and some you're gonna get a little bit of some cherry accords in there so it's definitely very gourmandish and it's one that you pull out around that Christmas time man my brother he wears it all the time he'll wear this kind of stuff anytime any place but um it's more of a fall winter um, type of scent but man it is just quality and you know the thing about all these I'm not gonna list all the tell you all the prices I'll leave links but they're all probably under 50 bucks. Get your nose on it. Okay, I don't want to make this video super long, so I'm going to kind of go through them. This one right here is by the Tafa. This is Ramaz Silver, or Rams, Rams um, Silver here. This is a clone of John Paul Gaultier uh, Ultramal. And Ultramal, if you know about that, that's kind of that youthful, play, playful, you know, young buck going clubbing, you know. This is one that you wear to your high school prom or your early 20s, but it's a good quality fragrance. So for you younger guys, if you like that pear mixed with that um, that lavender and that mint, you get the freshness, you get the fruitiness from the pear. Got some cardamom, which gives it that nice um, baking in the oven type of vibe mixed with the ambers and some vanilla you know so it's just a good quality fragrance get your nose on it um, very affordable 20 25 bucks next on the list here and this one right here newer to my collection this is um troise um north stag right here and this right here um 
is a Louis Vuitton, uh, I think it's Imagination clone right here. So and that fragrance is, this is one that you can wear right now for that warm weather. I've already, uh, this has already garnered me compliments. Uh, this opens up with a beautiful citron accord. So you're gonna get that juicy citron, that, that, that kind of an orange lemon uh, type of vibe, bergamot, and then there is orange in here. You're gonna get some spice from the ginger and some maybe hints of cinnamon. You know, I don't really pick up that too much. I think it's listed, but I don't pick it up as much. Some tea, black tea accord. So it's very fresh, very, um, just perfect for this time of year, man. You're gonna smell this is, you can wear this on high heat, 80, 90 degrees, 100 degrees. This one is gonna do the job and you're gonna spill cooling. Citron always has a cooling effect. Get your nose on that one. Uh, next one on the list, another one that's a little bit newer. Um, and this one right here is um, Green Sapphire. I think it's Fragrance World puts this out. This here is, you know, if you can't tell, it's cloning um, uh, Bode Victoria Green Sapphire. And you know that one probably runs you three, 400 plus bucks. Whereas this one right here, you can get in that 30, 40 buck range. And it is just, it opens up with a beautiful raspberry core. I don't have many fragrances with that raspberry. So that's a uniqueness, the violet leaf, which um, you get kind of a candied sweetness from that. Then you're gonna get some leather nuances from the saffron in here. Um, then you get a creaminess from that cashmere. Um, there's some sharpness from, there's a pine, um, pine accord in here. Uh, so you're gonna get some sharpness from that and then some wood, some creaminess. You'll get a nice warmth and creaminess from the sandalwood. Beautiful fragrance. I actually have worn this this time of year, but not high heat, maybe a date night, um, evening type of scent. But man, of course in the fall and winter this performs, but you might be able to pull this off in the cooler summer evening. Beautiful fragrance. Okay, next one on the list here is gonna be Armoff's um, Untold. Put the cap back on. This right here, if you, I'm not gonna talk much about it because everyone talks about this, but if you were looking for a Baccarat Rude, Rude, Rude um, 540, this will do the job. It is very 90% accurate. If you like saffron, man, this is a, one of the better saffron fragrances. So you're gonna get the leathery nuances to it. You're gonna get some jasmine in here. Um, some amber woods and some uh, some cedar. It's just, man, what a quality fragrance. Um, one that's very unisex, uh, actually is my probably my wife's signature scent actually, but you know, it's reviewed by guys and girls. But it more, probably one of the most versatile fragrances I think I've ever seen just in terms of everyone wearing it. So get your nose on that one. Uh, next one on the um, list here, going to be Eternal Oud by La Tafa. Eternal Oud, unique bottle, and you all know this one. If you like that Grand Soir type of vibe, those benzoins, those benzoins and those resins from the tree sap and the vanilla and all that kind of nuances to it. I think this has a plum accord in there too. It's the only thing that's a little different, but spot on. Get, just save yourself a little bit. Just get this. 25 bucks, 30 bucks, what have you. Um, it's gonna really perform in the cold weather. So know that quality fragrance, Eternal Oud by Latafa. Uh, this next one on the list here is one that I'm not necessarily one that's up my speed, but if you're looking for, this is um, the one and only Moonlight. And if you can tell by the bottle, you could tell that it's cloning um, the Luminous Night by Dolce and Cabana. And Gabbana, I mean, and so it smells good. It's not really one that I wear too much, but if you're looking for that fresh, ambery, um, that basil has a nice basil greenness to it. You're gonna get the bergamot, some spices from the peppers. Um, you know, it kind of blends. I don't know kind of has a lot going on. Maybe you think of Leighton mixed with uh, maybe side effect, kind of a weird combo right there, but it's it's hard for me to put my nose on what this smells like. It definitely is unique. 
But if you're looking for something like that, get your nose on it. Um, as I said, not really up my alley, but it definitely smells close to uh, Dolce and Cabana. So get your nose on that one. Um, then we're going to go to this one right here, which is um, this is Oud for Glory by Latafa. You all can tell what that's cloning right there. Uh, if you all like that Oud for Greatness, Yeah, if you like that Oud for Greatness vibe, um, you're going to get this. It opens up with the saffron, which is very, so it's leather. It's a soft leather in this one. You're going to get the, um, some nutmeg uh, cord in there. You'll get the lavender in there. Um, you definitely get some patchouli and definitely get some Oud in this. So it is one that um, has garnered me compliments. Uh, my wife loves this. This fragrance right here uh, and so if you want to save some money just go ahead and get this one right here if you want that ooh for greatness type of vibe it is very 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 good clone there uh, next one on the list here and I'm running through these because you know I know some of these I've you all have heard about before and this one right here and if you can't you can just look at the bottom and know what it is can you guess it yeah Woody Oud, which is a clone of Oud Wood, one of my favorite fragrances. So if you don't want to spend the money on Oud Wood, just get Woody Oud. And this is by Mason Francis, I mean Mason Francis, sorry, Mason Alhambra. <laughs> You're going to get that Oud, that nuttiness from the, the, the Oud. It has this nuttiness to it. It has the cardamom, the warm spices from that. You're going to get the sandalwood, which is the, the creamy richness to it. Um, and some tonka, some uh, nuttiness from the tonka, some vanilla as it dries down. You can wear this. It's very more versatile than people let on. I definitely will pull this off in summer evenings if it's not too hot. But as I said, you have to go lighter on the sprays if you're going to do it in, um, if it's kind of a summer evening. But if it's in the winter, in the fall, boy, pull this out. Special fragrance to uh, get your nose on that one. And... Um, I'll just list this one. I listed it in my other video, but this is um, the Tux. And hey, y'all know patchouli, patchouli, patchouli. What a special fragrance. Mm, you get that. Oh, it's just such a wonderful, this chocolatey nuance from the patchouli. It is just quality fragrance. I talked about it in another video, other videos, but if you want that YSL uh, tuxedo, just get this one right here, the Tux. Um, you'll save yourself some money. It is quality, quality fragrance. And I think I'm looking around to see if there's anything I missed. I don't think so. So I just went over 10, probably 10 plus fragrances that are uh, better than the original. They're clones that are better than the original or at least close to it. Hope you all enjoyed the video. This is Marvin with Preaching Sense. Catch you all on the next one.